video we're going to talk about OA leads list, online arbitrage leads list and why they are good and why they are bad. They are good in the sense that it will save you a ton of time and a ton of money on memberships like Tactical Arbitrage, Source Mogul. More importantly, your time. It will save you hours of your day to have a leads list delivered to you every day. However, be wary. A lot of providers out there are not delivering the best, highest quality leads possible. And this will not only be a waste of your time, but it, it will be a huge waste of your money. You will end up buying product that it will cause you a lot of problems on Amazon. And I'm going to go through a list of some of the many, many problems that you could be seeing if you're purchasing a bad list. Now, you probably know that I myself have my own list. I'm going to plug it in here in case you want to check it out. It's usually sold out, but you can go on a wait list. I pride myself to have one of the very best, if not the best, lists out there for leads. But I'll talk about that a little bit later after the video. Let's dive into the problems with lead lists. Problem number one, the product does not have enough sales per month. As you can see here, we have a totally profitable product sold uh, on calls at $13.50. Plug it into seller amp and you get a little profit here. However, it only has 15 sales per month. In my opinion, if you were to find this product just for yourself and you wouldn't have to compete any with anybody else on a list, it would be okay to buy, but because you are competing with other sellers that are on the list, I do look for a minimum of 30 sales per month. Number two, this is a huge, huge problem. As you can see, we have a, a profitable product here, but it has variations. Variations is when the listing, the ASIN number, has multiple products. It might be pink, beige or in this case it's a pack of three pack of six and different weights and many providers out there will just say oh this product has 42 sales per month but that's not the reality i personally use ac insight which is this other chrome extension to calculate variation specific sales per month data and in this case you see that the rating percentage is eight 36%. A 36% of 101 sales per month, according to AC Insight. Meaning this variation will only sell eight times per month. So just like the other product that we reviewed before, this is no bueno. And we would pass on it. And we would not include it on a list. It's a big no. Not including products that have variations with very low numbers. Another big product, uh, another big problem is that the products won't match. For example, this product is profitable, but what's going on here? The product itself is not matching. It's a different product. It may look the same in plain sight, but when you start looking at the description, at the image, at other factors on the listing, you soon realize that this product has some differences. And if you were to send this to FBA, Amazon will probably accept it, but then when you actually make a sale, the customer would be unhappy and you would get a return. What happens with returns? You end up losing money. Now, in this example, I'm going to talk about two different problems. Problem number one is that, as you can see, this is a different brand, Echo Choice, and here the listing is under Green Herc, Green Herc. So the listing is under a different brand name, but not echo choice so that's problem number one problem number two and i see this happening a lot is that with this specific retailer for example web restaurant store they never include shipping costs yes they they want to upsell you on some membership if you purchase a membership i think you get free shipping but if you don't purchase a membership you end up paying shipping costs in this case the shipping cost is 28 dollars and 49 cents making this product not profitable. So always 
look for providers that are including those shipping costs. It's very easy to say, oh, this product is profitable. But then when you start calculate, start getting into the nitty gritty of things, oh, it didn't include the shipping cost. If I include the shipping cost, it's not profitable. Huge problem right here, including websites that are scammy websites. So much of this is happening. Scammy websites are a plague in the online arbitrage world. Let me show you what I mean. If I analyze Puratina.com, which is this website I'm in, which by the way, has a profitable item if it was on stock. I first, I'm gonna make a different video on this, but if you analyze this with who is domain tools, you will see this domain was registered only two, shy of two years ago, two years ago, a little bit over two years ago, in 2021. This domain is not established. It has very bad, not bad, very low history. I'm looking for domains that are still, have been around for at least seven, 10 years. The other big one, Scam Advisor with an E, scamadvisor.com. That's where I check all my websites, all my retailer websites. Bam, suspicious orange you don't want to see orange you want to see green here so this scam detector website has detected that this is a scamming site so do not buy from this side if you buy from this side they might end up scamming you and you may end up losing your money or they may um, steal your credit card information be very alerted on scammy websites the plague of online arbitrage now this is a great product buying straight from Avida, a great brand to sell by the way, but what's going on here? It's flammable, it's dangerous goods, it's hazard. If you are on my Discord or follow me outside of this single video, you know that I despise dangerous goods. Yes, you can make money with dangerous goods. Some, some items are accepted by Amazon, you know, they just Put a red flag there but you can still make money if you know how to ship them i personally do only fba i ship to my prep center my prep center charges me an exorbitant fee to ship dangerous goods to the amazon warehouse so i stay away from it so this one might be a good product for you if you want to steal it from this video but i run away from this product stalvana stalvana is another scammy website in my eyes it has horrible reviews on trustpilot.com. It has an alert on Scam Advisor. But the issue with this one in particular is that it pops up on an IP alert. If you don't have IP alert, I'm going to include a code here to get it. $30, $30 off with my code. It's one of my three recommended essential tools with Keepa, Seller Amp, and IP alert. You must have IP alert because what happens is that if you don't have it you don't see pop-ups like this and if you don't see pop-ups like this you think that this product is safe to buy you buy it you send it to amazon and you get an ip complaint and you have to remove the inventory you got like a big red flag on your account and if you get three of those in six months you may end up losing your account so you, with this tool you pay only once and you have it forever now this product might be profitable 56 you plug it in what's going on here the provider probably used the 96 dollar 30 day buy box as their target price and that is just cheating in my opinion you have to use 86.76 which in this case is the lowest fba seller that's the person you're going to be immediately competing against you're not going to be competing with 96 because look 96 is all the way here all the way here so the good target price that you should be using is that and with that real target price not the fakey one that, that you would be using if you use a buy box one it's not profitable so look out for those here's another example where amazon is on the listing if amazon would be off the listing then this product might be profitable 14 dollars. yes it's profitable at no it's not even profitable at that but anyway do not go into 
listings where Amazon is on the listing. Sam's Club. You can't be buying from Sam's Club if you don't have a membership. So it's unfair to say that this is a profitable lead when, when you actually go to checkout, they force you into buying the membership. A profitable lead is a lead where you see the price, it includes shipping, and you buy it. Not something that you need to purchase a membership on. Another common mistake is, see, this one would be profitable, but actually it wouldn't, but it's a three pack. How do you know it's a three pack? You gotta look into the details. Look at this. If you scroll down here, it says pack of three, pack of three. It doesn't say pack of three anywhere else, but you have to scroll down sometimes right before making a purchase make sure that this is indeed a pack of one, not a pack of three, because it, if it is a pack of three and you're only buying one instead of three, that will cause a lot of problems and will make you lose money. Another one is not having insider information just out of doing this in and out every single day for years, like I do, on what's working, what's not working, and what brands are dangerous to buy. One brand that is dangerous to buy not dangerous, but you're gonna get into a pickle, is Squishmallows. Squishmallows, as soon as you buy a Squishmallow and you send it to FBA, you're gonna get an alert requesting for test reports or compliance reports. And this is very usual with toys that are made for under six year olds. And I had this problem happen to me personally, to other members in my Discord, so you want to make sure that you have somebody with insider information to be giving you leads. Another example is Revival Animal Health. This uh, used to be a brand that was perfectly safe to sell with a lot of profitable products, but my Discord members started alerting me that they started receiving IP alerts, I mean IP complaints from this brand. So I stopped including them in my list. Another example that I'm not including here are beauty products that include certain chemicals like niacinamide or something like that. I used to be perfectly fine and then Amazon started cracking down on chemical products that contain certain ingredients. So I stopped including those on my list. Another example is this product that is perfectly great to sell in plain sight. It's profitable, but what's going on here? If you are attempted to get engaged on this, you can't because it's red restricted on Amazon. What does red restricted mean? It means that Amazon is no longer taking ungating requests. You cannot get ungated even if you try. Amazon will not let you. So why would I want a brand like this in a list that I'm spending money on if I can't even get engaged on? Here's another one, attention, extreme attention to details is necessary when you are sourcing leads. Can you tell what is wrong with this lead? Look at this product, it's profitable. $12.34, they charge $4 shipping, flat rate. It is profitable, but what's happening here? Big Bad Toy Store sells either in collector condition, which we don't really care about, standard condition, which is unavailable. This is the one we want. It's we just want a new item in standard condition or in substandard condition. If you go and look at their terms, substandard means the box is probably damaged, is crushed. You don't want to buy a product like that because then when you s send it to Amazon, the buyer is going to be angry at you. The buyer expects a Funko that it's good condition, standard condition. So this is no good. Now Primal Harvest, this would be a good product to sell, but what's going on? Primal Harvest is the only seller on the listing. Look at this Keepa chart, flat line of the devil, flat line. You don't want to see that. And here, oh, some sellers attempted to sell it. And boom, they got shut down. They got shut down. This is an IP, this is a secret IP complainer, very rare scenario where for some reason it does not pop up on IP alert. Usually IP alert is very, very good at detecting IP complainer brands. But this one didn't come up, but you can see on the Keepa chart and the giveaway signal is this one, only one seller on the listing. Now this one is huge. Look at this one. 
929 sold by Target, profitable if sold on Amazon. But what's happening? Go look at the UPC code here at Target and plug it in to the search bar on Amazon, okay? And you will see that Amazon themselves, Amazon.com themselves are selling the same exact item at the same exact price that Target is selling it. So yes, you could make a profit by selling it on an ASIN that is priced higher, but chances are that this ASIN is totally dominating. To look at the sales per month. It's totally dominating. Amazon is dominating this product. So even though you're not directly competing with Amazon on the same listing, you will be competing with Amazon because they are selling it at a much higher volume per month on a different list. So now I'm going to quickly tell you about my own list that you can check out at any time and see if it's a good fit for you. I will send you 10 leads per day, Monday through Friday, delivered directly to your inbox via an Excel file. And in addition to that, you get bonus leads. These are leads that I just find every day and I want to share them with you. If I find them, you get them. So I will attach them as bonus leads on top of the 10 leads per day that you get. My list is capped at 25 members. It used to be capped at 30 members. Now it will be capped at 25 members. On average, 70 sales per month on each product. That is on average. Some of them will have 30 sales per month. Some of them will have 300 sales per month. On average, 75. On average, $8 profit. Again, the same thing applies. Some of them will have $4 profit. Some of them will have $10 profit. Some of them will have more. On average, this is what we've been seeing. On average, 50% ROI. Some of them will have 20% ROI. Some of them will have 200% ROI. Depending on the day, depending on the lead. But on average, we are seeing 50% ROI. And now, after I show you all the examples of things that can go bad with product searching, you won't see any of that on my list. No Amazon on the listing, no hassle products, no IP complaints on my products, no scammy sites. If the listing has a variation, the variation itself must have good sales volume. A good mix of gated leads, and ungated leads. Some of them will be gated to you, but you will see after a while that some brands are really worth getting ungated on. So it's worth going through the hassle of getting ungated. And some of them will be ungated off the bat for you. Every single lead is personally sourced and checked by me. This is a huge difference between what I provide and what other people provide. I have my eyes on every single lead that I send to you. Before I send you something, it goes through my quality control. Because the truth of the matter is, I feel guilty if I send you stuff that I wouldn't buy myself. If I don't buy myself, I won't send it to you. Detail notes. I will tell you if there's shipping cost, and of course that's going to be included in the calculations. I will tell you if there is cashback. I will tell you if there are any free gifts that the retailer is giving. I will tell you if the retailer is giving some member rewards. I will tell you if there are any specific notes, anything that you should be aware of, like Amazon being on and off the listing, if a seller has a lot of massive stock in it, and you should consider any of that. I will include all that in my notes. I don't give you any leads that are being sold by a third party. Like if you go to Walmart, Walmart has its own marketplace where third party sellers can sell. If Walmart themselves doesn't sell it, I will, won't give it to you because I don't trust these third party sellers. I just trust it when the retailer itself, like Walmart, Target, Kohl's, if a reputable source sells the product, then I will provide it to you. My calculations include the inbound shipping cost. I calculate around 30 cents per pound. My calculations already include 
shipping cost if the retailer charges for shipping costs as well. If there are any codes, any promotional codes, I will include them so you can save more money on your purchase. And now a few bonuses that my list has uh, nobody else is giving you. I spent two months in May and June, two months, two entire months creating a private area with ungating videos, how to ungate. You probably seen some of my ungating videos on YouTube. Well, this is an entire area we how to ungate pretty much every single brand and every single category, all the techniques that I've used over the years, what works, what doesn't work, including the feedback that I get from my Discord channel, from people trying things, because ungating changes every day. So techniques I used to work a year ago don't work anymore, perhaps. Or there, there might be an easier way to, to get ungated nowadays. So I include all this private area that took me two months, content that you don't find on YouTube, not even on my channel. I include free access to that, free access to my ungating area. Because I think that if you're a new seller, ungating is a huge roadblock. So you can't fully benefit and enjoy the leads from a list without being properly ungated. Feel free to try my list. I'm going to put a link right here. You can try it and see if it works for you. Other than that, I hope this video has been extremely helpful for you, even if you're not considering on ever purchasing an online arbitrage leads list. I hope you got some golden nuggets from some of the stuff that I look for that makes a good profitable product. And you should be looking at that as well. Make sure to stay busy especially with the Christmas season coming up. This is the best time to start sourcing. Big, big profit numbers are soon to come very soon. And I will see you on the next video. Keep up the good work.